A catch with dad. Ah, that's as American as red, white, and blue. Putting on a glove, it brings you back like to when you were a child. Maybe during that time you were playing, you were actually maybe with your dad, with somebody that kept you going. And, and you remember those, you know, those good memories. Marco Soto's memories stem back to being a kid in Mexico. His grandfather made leather saddles and whips, but his love for baseball led him to making his grandson, Marco, his first glove. It took about three days. But I watched the whole process, created a trapeze glove that's actually sitting right there right now. Wow. That was the first one he made me. Normally, a glove looks like this. By the time Soto arrived at Poly High School in the 90s, his teammates were taking notice. The kids on my team are asking me, how come your glove says Soto and it has your name on it? I says, well, my grandfather made it. What? So they asked me, how, do we, how can we get some of those gloves? That's when Soto Gloves from Mexico was born in the USA. In the shadows of the trophies at On Deck in Long Beach, you'll find Soto gloves. This is what we call the ice cream glove. They're not mass produced. They're form fitting custom gloves designed with a unique software program. You still like the camel? Yep. There it is. So the clients can pick the shape, style, size, and color. The process that we created was always been eight to 10 weeks. Why? Because if we only had a few gloves to build, we could get them done in five to six hours per glove and kind of like, you know, mold it. They're currently fulfilling 1,800 custom orders and every one will be broken in before it's shipped. And now if you put it on, wow, it's ready. Some sports content just seems to fit better than others. If I would have done two in the pinky and a Soto glove, <laughs> I know I couldn't hit a curveball, but I would have been a contender. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Me personally, baseball's always been in our blood. I'm the one that brought it to the U.S. I'm the one that started from zero 